So today I'm going to show you guys how to fix your MacBook Air that does not power on. Now the first thing you have to make sure is to use different types of chargers because that could possibly be the problem. Now the next thing you want to do is charge your MacBook for at least 30 minutes just to make sure that the battery has some type of power inside of it. Now once your MacBook Air is connected, if you see the green light or orange light on your MacBook Air charger, then that means that the charging port has no types of problems and that your charger has no types of problems at all. Now the next thing you want to do is hold the power button here for 10 to 30 seconds and try to see if that worked. Now holding the power button for 10 to 30 seconds did not work, the next thing you want to do is connect your MacBook Pro to the charger and press on the power button at the same exact time. So as soon as I connect the charger, hold on the power button for 10 seconds and that could possibly fix your problem. Now if that didn't work, try holding the power button for 10 seconds. Then after the 10 seconds, plug in your charger here. Then keep on holding your power button for 60 more seconds. Now if none of these solutions work, you're gonna have to take apart the back plate. Now to unscrew the back screws, you are going to need a P5 1.2 Penelope screwdriver. So from here, lift up the tab here from the bottom. The next thing you could try doing is disconnecting your battery connection. So from here, you're going to have to lift this tab up just like this, and then you want to pull. Start pulling until, the, until everything comes off just like this then have it disconnected for around 30 seconds. Then after 30 seconds, you can start by connecting the battery connection again. Get your fingernails and just slide the rest back inside the slot. And that's good enough from there. Try to see if your MacBook Air turns on or not. If that did not fix the problem, then there's a good chance that the battery is defective. Try replacing the battery because that could possibly be the problem if you tried all of my solutions. Now this is your MacBook's SSD here. This you're going to have to disconnect because that could possibly be the problem. So you want to disconnect it and connect it right back again. Now for this screw, you are going to need a T5. All right, so from here, you want to slightly lift it up and then you want to start by pulling the SSD here from the slot. Just pull it very slightly, just wiggle it and then and eventually it's going to come off just like this. Now from here, have it disconnected for around 30 seconds. Then you want to insert it back again. Just insert it very carefully. Try not to push too hard and eventually it's going to slide right in as you can see there. And from here, it's gonna fit perfectly. Now, after reinserting the SSD, then try to check if your MacBook turns on or not. If this solution did not work, then try using a different SSD because that could possibly be the problem. So make sure you have another SSD laying around or have one of your friends to let you borrow the SSD for your MacBook Air. Just make sure the SSD is the correct model for your MacBook Air. And now the second final thing you could do is disconnect your LCD connection, which is this one right here. So this is your screen's connection. There's a good chance that this is loose or that it could be inserted wrong. Maybe you dropped the MacBook Air and somehow the connection disconnected very slightly once you dropped the MacBook. So there is a small tab right here. Just get right underneath the black tabs like a piece of tape that you could grab here. You could either pull with your fingernails or your, or your fingers or you could just use your tool right here just to snap it back. As you can see there, it just snaps upwards. So now you wanna grab the connection here very slightly and then you wanna pull back. Pull back until the whole thing disconnects just like this. Then from here, have it disconnected for 30 seconds, then connect it right back again. It's pushed. Both sides are equally inserted inside, as you can see there. Then you want to lock it in place. 
Now, once you've done that, turn over the MacBook Air and try to see if that solution worked. Now, if none of these solutions work in this video, the best thing you could do is go to Google Maps or Apple Maps and search up laptop repair or iPhone repair. And there's a good chance that there will be a shop near you that you could call and tell them your situation with your MacBook. So hopefully one of my solutions worked out for you like it did for me. And if it did, like and subscribe and um, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.